Well, next week, the annual fundraiser known as Cover Your Canine will kick off at Pet Food Express stores. Here's how it works. You wash your dog at a Pet Food Express, and 100% of that money goes to buy custom bulletproof vests. It pays for emergency medical training for handlers and heat alarms for police cars, also trauma kits. This year, it also helps a nonprofit all-volunteer group called the Working Dog Rescue. And joining me this morning is Mahogany Gamble and her dog, Remy, who is an ambassador for your group. And tell me about this Working Dog Rescue group. It's a really new kind of innovative idea mm -hmm. of what to, how to maybe find great jobs for some really unique shelter dogs. Absolutely. Yeah, so we, um, we essentially look for dogs that, you know, have a... A genetic propensity to do a job and a lot of times they end up in shelters because they were too much in a you know in a home with a family and um, and we will meet them assess them and see if they can perform a job and then we work on placing them uh, you know in in a in, in, a, a, in, a, in a job. Right, <laughs> right. I mean, you talk about a working dog. You talk about, mm -hmm. like, Remy here, I think you're my favorite command that I heard you say, chill. Yes. Kind of <laughs> hangs out. He just chills. <laughs> right. He's doing a great job, Remy. But, you know, you talk about a dog who may be too busy for a home, but mm -hmm. when you're talking about police canines in particular, mm -hmm. they have to be very focused, busy, ready to work all the time. And, right. and is it a specific breed you're looking for, or is it just a, a certain temperament mm -hmm. and personality? It's a little bit of everything. We do look for um, the Belgian Malinois, the a working German Shepherd, mm -hmm. um, sometimes uh, like a hunting Labrador Retriever. Um, those dogs tend to be good at the searching, you know, the searching aspects. And um, and then the Malinois, and the German Shepherd, sometimes they can do even more for a police department, more than searching for narcotics. Um, you know, they can maybe do some apprehension work and things like that. So those are the breeds that we tend to take in the most. And they're just waiting to be found. I think we've got a video of a TSA dog mm -hmm. named Adam. Yes. <laughs> and uh, th this dog, you know, is that one of the ones that you found and said, hey, mm -hmm. maybe this dog can do more. Yeah, yeah. He was a phenomenal dog uh, that was too much for his family and they, you know, they really tried their best but they were like, this dog is a lot. Um, so we took him in and right away just we could see, you know, he had everything that it took and he's done phenomenally in, in his training. Um, he passed all of the tests 100% and uh that's amazing and, yeah he's gonna do really we apologize forward. we apparently don't have that video okay <laughs> um, but in terms of, of moving forward and being associated with this this event which is mm -hmm. so easy for people i mean they just go and get their dog washed and they're Absolutely. helping out we've got you know one of the canine vests here and i know we're gonna have a demonstration a little bit later on in morning's on two of kind of what these dogs are capable of doing but how important is it for your group which is only about a year and a half old you said to mm -hmm. kind of get hooked up with with this cover your canine event oh it's invaluable um you know our rescue is all volunteer run so all of our communication all of our training um the training and testing that we do sometimes we take two or three or four months that we spend with a dog that's all done you know voluntarily and um, and essentially we um, we help the departments uh, by keeping you know the the adoption fees very low for them and so essentially we're you know we're doing this just because we're passionate about it and we love the work and we love giving the dogs a, a chance to feel fulfilled. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and so, and you talk about the more of this uh, this event we got on the screen. I mean, yes. custom bulletproof vests, these medical training and canine trauma kits. I was just mm -hmm. hearing a story of how after the event last year, right, uh, an actual U.S. Forest Ranger used uh, one of these kits to save their dog uh, who right. was responding and trying to apprehend a suspect. And then the, the heat alarms. And I guess you know when they're working, they need they need gear. Absolutely. <laughs> to keep them safe. Yeah. All right. Well, Mahogany, thanks so much for coming in. Of course. Remy. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Doing a good job of chilling. <laughs> thanks for chilling. The segment. So, uh, great event. And we're going to come up and have a uh, demonstration. Elman County Sheriff's here to uh, kind of help us out and uh, show us what these dogs are capable of. Here's the information for the uh, canine fundraiser. July 15th and 16th, and then 100% of all pet washes and sales donated. 60-plus Bay Area stores participating. We've got more information on our website, ktvu.com. Thank again. you. Let's send it over to Rosemary.